Hi guys, welcome back to Siano Springs from your explanation. We are getting through the questions that are frequently asked in the comment section. Remember, I've been a little bit up and down because of the World Cup. You know, definitely there have been a lot of opportunities and been up and down for um, trying to do some things with it. But I tried to fix at the time and I was like, I still have to come back to my people because it is who this Mix Creation TV is at this time because of you people. I thank you so much. And the question, the question that I was asked also is, can I leave Qatar without informing my employer? Yes, you can leave Qatar without informing your your employer, but it will depend on which kind of scenario. Uh, in this case, we are looking at during what you call the probation period. Yes, during the probation period. Remember, the probation period in here in Qatar is six months, and you cannot leave the country without informing your employer. That is what I can tell you. So it means that. For anyone that wish to, for anyone that wish to leave uh, without finishing your notice period, you should know. As per the labor law, you will be, uh, you will be, uh, you sh you will be paying a compensation to your employer, which is uh, actually uh, amounting to what you call your basic wage. Let's say, for example, uh, you wish to leave the country, and. Uh, you have two months more, two months uh, remaining for you to be pro finish your probation period, meaning that if it's your basic salary is 1000 then probably you have to pay two months of your basic salary to your employer before you can leave or you can at least be allowed to leave in the country. That is according to the labor law or according to, to the law. Uh, uh, remember, uh, during that period, we talked about the recruitment, we talked about the recruit. Uh, remember uh, how much is the work visa recruitment? What does we talked about the video? How much does the, your employer pull injecting you when he's recruiting you in back in your country? And you definitely, definitely, you see that when we do, we try to sum up the old total for those people that watch that video, or you are for those people, I'll put that video in the uh, description also. You can have a look at that. The total is amounting to around something like around 2000. So, me. Meaning that if you want to resign before your probation period, as according to the law, you are supposed to compensate your employer uh, at least two months, which is equivalent to the basic salary pay. And you can be allowed to leave the country or you can allow to be going in the country. However, something that you also need to know that sometimes it may be some other issues that you may have within your zone within yourself, but to better way, you can also. Um, Explain to the human resource or explain to, to those people concerned in the company, we can definitely either release you out and go. However, there are some issues that can, can lead you to be uh, to be taken out of the country before even you finish your probation period. For example, if you are not medically fit, if you don't pass the medical fitness test, you are not fit to work in the country. Then that means in that kind of situation, your employer, which is your, your work visa sponsor, will definitely have to repatriate you back to your country without you paying any cost and uh, because you fail you are not eligible or you can fail to meet what you call the requirements for you to work in the country and that is exactly that is exactly uh, what could be the other condition for you to live without paying anything however if you will want to leave and you already have what you call you already uh, you've not finished up what you call the uh, the probation period and definitely you you took, you took out the medical you did the, the rest of the procedures we are being followed then definitely you'll have to compensate your employer before you can go out of the country hope i've tried to share up something for you and that is actually something that you need to know for example for you people who are coming to the country you come you find the situation that you're being told by your agent is not the same situation your promise will and hell but at the same time what you find is different on ground then definitely you have that right or you will definitely have try to go you will definitely need to know such kind of situation for you to get through and to see that you can exit without even paying a single coin thank you so much for coming back to channel it's made from your excretion trying to get through these answers try to give you all this back and here and here such that you can try to know what are we entitled to to and how definitely we have to survive. When we come to this country, we become what we call hustlers and we are surviving. And we need to understand uh, for you, for us not to violate the law and also not even our employers or employers to get to um, to, to bleach what we call the, uh, the, the, the contracts or bleach, bleach what we agreed upon in the contract. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.